held that up in front of my face. Lady. Love you. <laughs> That's all. Love you too. It's my job to interrupt everyone. <laughs> Are you done? Probably not. Okay, bye. I love you. Who knows? Jan doesn't. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with my August TBR. I have a total of five books that I'm hoping to get to for this month. Not 100% sure how it's going to go, as two of them are pretty hefty, and I work full-time again this month, so we'll see how it goes. Without further ado, let us get started! The first book that I'm hoping to get to is Nerve by Jean Ryan. This book is actually becoming a movie. I believe it came out July 27th or something like that. So it's already out, but I've heard such amazing things about it, and I really want to see the movie, so I thought I would read the book first. It basically follows a girl named V, and she decides to compete in this game show, which is called Nerve. And basically, it's a big game of truth or dare without the truth. So you win money or grand prizes based off of these dares that you complete, and they get harder and harder as time goes on. I've already read 210 pages of it, and I'm really enjoying it. It's very fast-paced and very entertaining. And I'm very excited to see the movie when I eventually do. I don't know when that's going to be, but looking forward to it. The next book is Identical by Ellen Hopkins. I haven't read an Ellen Hopkins book. I've had this on my shelf for a while, and Peter from Peter Likes Books is always talking about how much he loves Ellen Hopkins, so I figured I would try it out. I don't know how much I'm going to enjoy it. I think I tried to read an Ellen Hopkins book once when I was like 14 and I absolutely hated it. But now that I'm a little bit older, I think that I'll probably like it a lot more. This particular Ellen Hopkins book follows a set of twins, Kaylee. Or Kylie, I'm not 100% sure how to say it. And Rayanne. Each sister has her own secret and they soon realize that they need to save each other from themselves. It's a very big book. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to get through it. It reads like a poem kind of thing, even though it's not a poem. But... I feel like it will go very quickly, so I should be able to get through it, but I'm very excited for my first Ellen Hopkins book. The next book I'm hoping to get to is Where Things Come Back by John Corey Whale. I talked about this in one of my weekend reads. Friday reads, whatever it's called. And I said that I've never read a John Corey Whaley book, but I've heard such amazing things about him, and he recently came out with Highly Illogical Behavior, which I want to read so badly. So I found this in my thrift store, $1.95, like I said in the other video, so I thought I would pick it up. It has two awards, so it has to be good. I don't really know that much about it other than it's about a boy named Cullen and his cousin overdoses and his family or the town that he lives in becomes obsessed with some woodpecker or something and then there's like a missionary in Africa. I don't know, it sounds interesting. And then the final two books are part of the same trilogy and they are Clockwork Prince and Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare. I recently read Clockwork Angel in July, absolutely loved it, super excited to finish this series, really want to know where it ends off, and yeah, I'm probably not going to be able to finish them both this month since they're both humongous, but you know, a girl can dream. Alright guys, so that was my August TBR. A total of five books, three of them are pretty big, don't know how well this is going to go, but you know, we'll see. And I will see you in my next video. Goodbye! Elkin, Elkin. What?